Good afternoon. My name is David Liebes, and I'm going to talk to you about the coherence query language, which is new for 3.6. Uh, the coherence query language is a new lightweight syntax that's in the tradition of SQL, and it's used to perform cache operations on a coherence cluster. The language can be used either programmatically or from a new command line tool. Uh, the programmatic API is used for the construction of filters and value extractors. You can think of it as being like the WHERE clause in a SQL SELECT statement. Now, the command line tool is a much more uh, full query language that looks on the surface like SQL and is compatible also with a lot of JPQL. It also has a very flexible insert and update statement that I hope will keep people from having to write one-off uh, pieces of code to populate caches. And uh, this extended uh, insert and update statement gives you the ability to have literal lists, maps, and sets as well as literal objects that are denoted in a way that's very reminiscent of JSON. So how did all of this get started? A little history here. Back in 2008, I came back to Oracle and joined the Coherence Group, and they were in the middle of a port of uh, the Java code to C++. And I got the pleasure of porting filters and aggregators and value extractors. And uh, as I went along, I started noticing that the uh, uh, design of these classes was absolutely brilliant and implemented a reasonable subset of a SQL-like language. But I was distressed when I saw that there was actually no nice domain-specific uh, language way of expressing it. And so you had to write uh, basically something that to a language guy would look like an abstract syntax tree uh, in Java. And in C++ it just gets, just gets worse. And then when it comes time to actually use these pieces in the, the bigger context of the coherence API, it you know, degenerates into what I call gizmology which is a lot of boilerplate that has lots of moving parts, each with its own little piece of you know, uh, rules and idioms for interacting with them. And the amount of stuff you have to hold in your head is, well, in my opinion, too much. So I started getting this idea in my head that uh, could I take you know, the public API gizmology and actually allow somebody to write something that was much more like the familiar uh, select statement in SQL for querying data or using aggregators or uh, manufacturing you know, the uh, entry processors that would you know, go in and in parallel make modifications to your cache based on a, on a filter and the like. So uh, to make a long story short, uh, this is what I then, after you know, having done a prototype, spent you know, the next year working on. And we now have a new command line tool that has a SQL-like language. And we have a programmatic API that will let you build uh, basically filters and value extractors uh, with you know, something that looks very, very much like the WHERE clause of the, the SQL SELECT. So the language in the command line tool, you know, to looking at it from, you know, 500, or let's say 5,000 feet uh, in squinting, you'll see that it, it looks a lot like SQL, but there's no uh, joins or nested queries uh, and the like at, at this time. And you, you use it on a command line with a read eval print loop. And in this example is a, an example, 
you know, that you could imagine an administrator uh, looking at, you know, the contents of a cache and seeing something, oh, gee, these values, you know, aren't really right, and then uh, deleting the bogus values from the cache. Or, you know, in the, the next example with the, the select area codes from city info where name is Dallas, you know, you get back a, a set that seems like a reasonable uh, result, except it's missing uh, 469. So, you know, in the next statement, you can see we're updating the uh, cache, you know, with the familiar update statement, although it's uh, augmented with our extended literal set syntax, which makes using it much uh, easier. And the programmatic API is very straightforward. Uh, here we see an example where we're creating some indexes which require you to manufacture a value extractor. Uh, well, I don't want to have to remember the rules for cre uh, creating a value extractor, but we have a, a you know, public class query helper that then lets you create uh, an extractor and it uses the, uh, the bean, you know, uh, convention for converting uh, a property to a method uh, selector. And below you see two different queries. One simple one where we're just uh, looking and digging in and getting the home address and then getting the state and comparing it to Massachusetts. And then a more complicated one which uh, dig, digs in and, you know, is looking to see uh, do they live in Massachusetts and don't work in Massachusetts? So for the SQL person, this should be uh, pretty familiar. Anyway, uh, that's where we're at now with 3.6. Now, one thing it is important to realize about the coherence query language is the last thought. It isn't an engine. It doesn't uh, try and bring about a model that's different than coherence. It is a veneer on top of the coherence API and it just acts as a translator to go from a human readable syntax into the straightforward public API of coherence.